Hey guys, welcome back everybody. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video we are going to understand how to onboard VAs on the controller on the vManage. Today we are going to onboard this VAs on the vManage. Okay, VAs of branch one on the vManage. If you will check my vManage here, you can see some devices are already there. Like I have one VA Smart, one VH. This is VAs of data center. One vbond is there and one vmanage is there, right? So I have already uploaded the VAs of data center on the vmanage, and today we are going to upload this VH. Okay, so without wasting our time, let's begin. So as you know, guys, first of all, we need some initial configuration on vmanage, right? I have already configured the system configuration, but we need to configure the VPN. So run VPN. So run VPN. So you can see VPN zero. There is G zero slash zero, right? But uh, we don't configure any IP address over here. So we are going to configure IP on this VPN. So let me configure the initial configuration first. Say VPN zero, and I am going to add GE zero by zero interface over here. Now I am not using MPLS. I am only using internet. So I will not configure this interface G one zero by one. Right, we are configuring only this interface. Say no set, and then IP address. And guys, IP address over here is hundred one dot two dot one dot one slash twenty four. Correct. Then I need to configure this interface as tunnel interface. So tunnel interface. Then we need to allow some service. Allow service all. Then allow service net cough. And allow service SSH. Done. So I have all the services here. I can configure the color, color, busy internet, and uh, I need to configure one default route as well. I can configure the encapsulation, encapsulation IP sec, and then IP route zero dot zero dot zero slash zero, and the next hop IP address is hundred one dot two dot one dot two. Right now, you can try to ping your vManage from this device. Let me try to ping the vManage because the initial configuration is done. So, ping. Ping VPN zero and the IP address of vManage is hundred dot one dot one dot one. Do ping. Do ping VPN zero hundred dot one dot one dot one. Do so run. Sorry, I need to commit. Commit the command, and then ping VPN zero and hundred dot one dot one dot one. And you can see I'm able to ping the vManage. Device. I can ping to VA Smart also. Let me ping VA Smart. Dot two. Yes, you can see VA Smart is also reachable, and the VBond, VBond IP address is three dot three. See, VBond is also reachable from this VH, right? Can I ping uh, the VAs of data center? IP address of VAs in data center is hundred one dot one dot ten dot one. So you can see. I am not able to ping the VAs of data center. Maybe a route is not there, right? Let me try to ping the router. To no, I am not able to ping. Leave it. We'll see this this reachability later. This reachability reachability later. For now, guys, to register this VAs on vManage, first of all, we need a certificate here, right? We need to install root certificate and Identity certificate. So to install the root certificate here, what we need, we need to uh, copy the root certificate. So to copy the root certificate, I am going to use WinSCP. So here I have access of root server. You can see I am using my own enterprise server for the certificate, right? And here I have access of my server. So Before that, you can even ver verify the certificate on the uh, VH on this VH. Like you can run command uh, file list, 
file list and you can see we don't have any certificate over here even you can use vsale and then you can run ls command you can see there is no any certificate available so we need to upload root certificate here right and to request To install root certificate, I am going to use WinSFP on my server. So let me open the WinSFP and here I am going to give the IP address of my VH. So IP address is 100 and before that I can check reachability from the server. Am I able to ping the VH or not? So let me open the command prompt and here I am going to say ping, ping and the IP address of VH is 101. 101 dot 101.2.1.1 and you can see I'm getting reply that means ping is working right from the server I am able to ping this branch one we manage so let me open WinSFP here the IP address is going to be 101.2.1.1 by default username is admin and the password is also admin let me log in yes continue now guys you can see i have login off this device here on the on this server actually i have root certificate somewhere let me verify that yes here it is you can see it is under download no not under download on the desktop here is the root certificate you can see right on the desktop i have my root certificate this one so i am going to upload it on the vh branch one vh so i will upload it under admin like home slash admin over here so let me copy it from the desktop here is the root certificate copy drag and draw here say copy yes now it's done let's close the windows operating uh, windows server because now i don't need operating system now you can verify the certificate so yes you can see the root underscore cert dot cert file is there right even you can check under vsail you can run command ls yes uh, here you can see the certificate is there right now guys we are going to request to install root certificate over here so just exit and to request a uh, root certificate install we need to run command request or request and then root set root certificate chain and then i am saying install and it will install from the home home and home then admin right see where i have uploaded the certificate under root under certificate dot cert so root underscore cert dot c i r c e r right so this is the exact path let me hit enter and now you can see successfully installed the root certificate chain correct now you can verify it as well you can run command so certificate so certificate installed right so actually this is the identity certificate till now we didn't install identity certificate here to check root certificate you can run command so certificate and then root certificate root ca certificate and you can see the certificate right here even there is one more command you can use command so controller so sorry control and then we can say local properties right with the help of this command also you can verify it so you can see here the root ca certificate is installed but the identity certificate is not installed over here right so now we need to install the identity certificate for that i will run command request here i will run command request 
and then VH cloud activate right and then chassis number here we need to define the chassis number where I will find the chassis number I will find the chassis number on my V manage right so let me take you to V manage here and guys go to the configuration tab under configuration devices and here you can see the WAN device WAN is devices right so I have already uploaded one WAN is device this one this is the WAN is device of data center and now I am going to use this one this changes number and the token number so let me I cannot copy it so I have to manually type here so let me type guys it's uh, it's EA9 EA9 D96 D69 C7 hyphen just wait my keyboard is not working properly yeah now it's working so request and then uh, vh cloud activate chassis number let me do one thing let me take on photo of it and it will be easier for me to type yeah now I'm going to type here E A 9 D 6 9 C 7 hyphen 8 E 6 0 hyphen F A B F A B one hyphen double seven one four hyphen seven one double five nine one B A three six three two right this is the charges number now I need to define the token number so token and let me type the token number now okay so my token number is 1b5 9c8447257 c9 C A double two eight one six D B five E seven nine D C F F D one right now let me hit enter over here fine guys now what you can do you can just refresh it refresh it it will take some time wait yes now you can see the v v is um, like branch one of vs is register on the v manage right even you can see the serial number now and you can see the device like branch one vh right this is the vs of data center this is the vs of branch office this is how we can Register V as is on the V manage. Now, guys, if you have learned something from this video, please do not hit on like button. Right. In the next video, we are going to understand how to upload CSR order like CS on the V manage. Okay. If you have any query, concern, dot, please let me know in the comment section. We'll meet soon in the next video. Till then, stay safe. Bye bye, guys.